My name is Christopher Cahill. We're here in Delvin, County Westmead, where I am share farming 240 cows. I was born and reared in County Cavan. Initially, I went and studied ag science in UCD, done a degree in dairy business, and subsequently followed that up with uh, a master's in sustainable agriculture. And I went and worked in industry for just six, almost six years with Lakeland Agri in 2021 with the help of Mockers Land Mobility Service uh, the opportunity here with Tony McCormack arose and at the beginning of 2022 myself and Tony established a dairy partnership here and up to today we've increased the herd size from around 110 British Frisian cows to uh, between 240 and 250 crossbred cows. I suppose I took the decision to sign the herd up to the NGP programme uh, quite early. I thought it would just give me uh, more detailed information on each cow and ac more accurate, higher levels of accuracy and reliability on each cow um, for making breeding decisions. When we actually genotyped the herd, I felt it was a better representation of what I felt was my best cows. We would run typically three stock bulls with the herd, swapping one out and in each day. Through the genotyping process, we were able to identify uh, which bull was doing the work and identify which stock bull was actually throwing better calves. Uh, the big change we've done in 2025, we've invested in the sensor tech um, heat detection collars. So we've actually moved away from a synchronization program and done the cows on natural heats, getting optimal timing using the collars. Again, we rely heavily on sex semen, but we also used a small bit of conventional semen just where the cow was outside of the optimal uh, timing for sex semen. Looking back over the past two springs, I'd say the average turnaround time was a little over two weeks from sending away the samples to uh, getting back our blue cards. The turnaround time got better in 2025 uh, compared to 2024. Thankfully, we'd be quite good on the data recording and the dam and sire recording but we did i remember coming in one morning and we had two jet black heifer calves the dams were standing very protectively beside them and we marked them down for what appeared to be the the dam daughter relationship but when the genotypes came back they actually they were belonging to the the opposite cow because we can ai with beef from the very beginning of the breeding program because we know the cows that we want the dairy semen from uh, or the dairy replacements from uh, we actually have beef saleable beef calves very early in the calving season and we've got regular buyers for those so it means we can actually move our calves on quite early in the breeding season and take the pressure off the system i'd absolutely recommend um, anyone to sign up be it dairy or, or beef um, whatever business you're in i think it, the information it gives you is invaluable. Um, you know, it really informs your breeding decisions nearly exclusively now between genomics and milk recording. I, I identify my top cows for, for breeding uh, through those, both, both those metrics. By breeding heifers, heifer replacements from our best cows, we're accelerating our genetic gain. We've probably gone from an average of 3.37, 3.4 protein up to 3.8 protein this year, um, you're accelerating your genetic gain, but equally, um, you're also improving the beef calf that's going to the, to, uh, the calf to beef farmer as well, which is great.